Hello Internet, how are you doing today? My name is Brian, if you are new here, and today we are going to be talking all about the iPhone 16. As you know, this past Monday, Apple announced the new iPhone 16 lined up devices, as well as new Apple Watches, and as well as new AirPods. Today, we're going to be exclusively discussing just the iPhone 16, and we're gonna really be focusing on whether or not you should upgrade or not. I feel like I get this question all the time. People are always asking me, should I upgrade, should I not upgrade? Well, I'm gonna give you guys the facts and the truth on if you should upgrade to the iPhone 16 or not. We're gonna quickly recap what happened at the Apple event so you guys know what was announced in case you missed it. But basically they announced the iPhone 16 in a bunch of brand new colors. Here are all the new colors right here. The colors are pretty cool on the iPhone 16. However, the 16 Pro, honestly, the colors are pretty disappointing to me. I don't think they're that interesting and cool. So this year I'm definitely just gonna get the space black iPhone because I miss having a black iPhone and I feel like it's just the best one. So that's what we're gonna be doing this year. The new hallmark feature of the 16s are this brand new camera control button. This button seems really cool and a lot of the leaks I thought it was kind of dumb honestly but after seeing the event seeing people actually use the thing I think it's gonna be really cool especially the fact that it's not just taking photos and launching the camera. You can literally zoom in and zoom out with your finger. You can change different photo modes. It's super cool and I think that's pretty awesome as well. Also there's a bunch of new Apple intelligence features. Uh, the 16 Pro comes in two new sizes. There's a new 6.3 inch and a new 6.9 inch screen. Of course I'm gonna get the Pro Max. I always get the Pro Max and I'm very excited to have a slightly bigger screen even though it's not gonna be a huge screen upgrade. I think definitely having a bigger screen is always nice, especially for 16 by 9 content and especially for short form content and TikToks and Reels. I think that's going to be really, really exciting to have that. There's also a brand new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera in the iPhone 16 Pros. That thing is going to be really cool. It's supposed to be a lot higher resolution. So whenever you're taking macro photos or whenever you're trying to get up close, so at least now when it switches to a new lens, it's going to be a lot higher quality, which I think that's going to be pretty cool. There's also new 4K 120 frames per second in the Pro iPhones. But what's also cool about that is you can also change the frame rate after you record a video. I've never heard about any other camera or phone being able to do that before. New audio mix and photographic style features. These seem pretty cool. The audio mix lets you kind of change the audio on your phone. And new photographic styles allow you to really customize how your photos look. We also have this new thing called visual intelligence that comes with Apple intelligence. I think this is actually gonna be pretty cool because you're gonna be able to press the camera control button and then scan an object that you see in the real world. It's gonna tell you more information about that. That is pretty cool and that's definitely good use for AI in my opinion. And and finally, we're getting longer battery life in the new iPhones. I think we can all say that the iPhone battery life is not the best. It should definitely be a lot longer. So hopefully this year fixes all the battery issues. So now let's get into if you should get the iPhone 16 or not. This is definitely a question that people ask me a lot, if I should upgrade or not. If I have X iPhone, should I get the X new iPhone? We're gonna be answering that today. So I think honestly, I would say if you have an iPhone 13 or older, you should definitely upgrade to the iPhone 16s. I feel like the three year mark is definitely the perfect time to be upgrading your iPhones because you waited three years in between your phones. You're gonna have a lot of new features on these new phones that you don't have yet. There's gonna be a different design, new colors and stuff like that. So I definitely feel like the three year mark is probably the perfect time to upgrade, especially since you probably had your phone for three years, your battery life may be wearing down, maybe you had a storage on your phone, maybe your screen is cracked or something like that. So you definitely are at a perfect time to be upgrading your phone. It's not to say that if you have like an iPhone 14 or an iPhone 15 that you definitely should not upgrade. I definitely think that if you have a 14 or a 13, you're kind of good, honestly, but you may have a 14 and you want a pro phone. There's definitely different cases for different things. Maybe you have an iPhone pro and you want to go to a pro max. There's always different cases of what phone to get. So I definitely just say that if you have an iPhone 13 or older, it's definitely a perfect time to upgrade. But if you have different features you want to get, you should definitely consider upgrading. I think if you have an iPhone 14 or newer, yeah, these upgrades are pretty amazing. But unless you get a really good carrier deal and you can sell your iPhone for a really good price, I don't think you need to get these new phones. They're not going to be as groundbreaking as you think. But, you know, if you do want to upgrade, definitely go for it. No one's stopping you there. The next things we're gonna talk about are reasons to upgrade your phone. These are gonna be things that your current phone does that you don't like and you wanna upgrade your phone for. If you want a better camera on your phone, you should definitely upgrade to an iPhone 16 Pro. I think the iPhone 16 Pro has really, really good camera features, especially the new 48 megapixel ultra wide. I think that's gonna fix a lot of the issues people have had with the iPhone cameras, where if you get too close to a subject, it kind of gets out of focus. This will definitely help with that, especially having two lenses with the same resolution. Of course, if you want all the new camera features, the new prologue and all that type of stuff, definitely 
definitely get an iPhone 16 Pro if you like bigger screens. You should definitely get an iPhone 16 Pro Max or 16 Pro either way. Now, yes, the size difference between the 16 Pro and the 15 Pro are only, I think, 0.2 inches. However, it definitely does help you with content. Content is going to look a lot better on these phones because the phone is larger. So a lot of the UI elements are going to go off to the sides of the phone. And you're going to have more room for content. Now, obviously, I don't have the phone yet, so my opinions may change on that. But if you do want a bigger phone, this is definitely a good year to get the one of the new Pro phones. Unfortunately, the standard 16s do not have bigger screens. But if you do wait till next year, they may have new screen sizes for you as well. If you have an iPhone Pro, you should stay with an iPhone Pro. I know, I know those brand new colors look so, so enticing, especially that ultramarine color. That ultramarine color is literally so pretty. I want that on a Pro Max so bad. However, I have a Pro Max right now. I'm going to stick to a Pro Max. I'm not going to go down to a plus because of a color. So definitely, if you do have a Pro phone, you should definitely stick to a Pro phone. And honestly, if you have a standard phone, I would definitely consider just going with an iPhone 16 or an iPhone 16 Plus. I think that 120 hertz, even though 120 hertz is beautiful, beautiful and I love it a lot. Only the tech nerds really notice it. Only I notice it. Only people who love their phones so much notice it. If you never can notice it or you never had it before, just get an iPhone 16. The iPhone 16 is still a really, really good phone. And if you don't necessarily care too much about the camera, you don't necessarily care too much about the screen technology and all that type of stuff, you can get a really good phone with the iPhone 16. I definitely think the 16 line is a good line of phones. However, again, if you do want a pro, I would definitely recommend getting a pro. So that is what I think about if you should upgrade or if you should not upgrade. Now let's talk about if you should not upgrade. I think if you have an iPhone 15, any of the iPhone 15s, I don't think you need to upgrade this year. It's mental illness, isn't it? I know the new features are cool and enticing. However, I would just personally say, unless you absolutely love new technology and unless you absolutely just want a new phone, you definitely shouldn't feel the need to upgrade. I don't think you really need a new phone. Unless you absolutely really do want the Apple Intelligent features, I really don't think you need to get a new phone. So now that you know if you should upgrade your phone, let's talk about something that is very, very important that not a lot of people talk about, and that is storage. Storage size is super important with an iPhone, especially because you cannot upgrade the iPhone storage. And yes, I know you can get cloud storage on your phone, but having everything on your phone itself is definitely so much more convenient than paying for cloud storage. I've been paying $10 a month for two terabytes of iCloud storage for the past two years. I know it sucks, and I can't wait to be done paying for that. If you are a person who hoards things on your phone and you suck with storage a lot, you should always always get 256 gigabytes of storage or more. I know it costs more money. However, having more storage is going to be a peace of mind. It's going to let you keep your phone longer. It's going to let you keep your phone running better. You're never going to have to worry about deleting certain pictures. You're never going to have to worry about backing up into the cloud to get more iCloud storage. You're never going to have to worry about deleting an app if you need to. It's always better to get more storage than you think you need. I 100% think that even if you think you're going to be okay with 120 gigabytes of storage, if you're going to keep that phone for at least two or three years, you should just get 256 gigabytes of storage. Especially because because every single iOS update you update to your phone, it's gonna take up more storage and you're gonna have to delete more things and it's just gonna be a mess. If you suck with storage, get 256 gigabytes or more. If you are any type of content creator or an influencer, get 512 gigabytes of storage or more. Listen, 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 listen. I know those phones are very expensive. Get at least 512 gigabytes of storage. If you're a content creator like me, you don't wanna be paying $10 a month for two terabytes of iCloud storage and paying that constantly for two years and always being worried about things being deleted in the cloud you want it on your device. You want to have that on your device. It's really not that much more money. I definitely would recommend getting 512 or one terabyte. This is the first year I'm going to get more than 256 gigabytes of storage. I'm actually going to get one terabyte and that is because I'm a content creator and this phone is quickly becoming my main camera because my camera that I have right now sucks. And of course, if you're not a content creator and you don't suck with storage, you can get 120 gigabytes. That will definitely be tight, I would say. However, if you're not someone to take a lot of pictures, you may be fine. Please, please, please just get 256 gigabytes or more. You're going to thank yourself in the future and you're going to thank me in the future. <laughs> Now let's talk about colors, deciding which color iPhone to get. This is always a very, very stressful part of the iPhone buying process. You have a color you like, you start double guessing yourself, double thinking yourself. First thing I'm going to say is get the color you want, okay? If you really want that ultramarine color, get the ultramarine color. If it's available in the phone you want, get that color. However, I'm definitely going to let you guys know of some tips you should think about before deciding on the color. There may be some things that you haven't thought about when buying a color that you may want to consider. Some colors look better 
in real life. I remember last year with the natural titanium iPhone 15 Pro, people thought it was gonna be a really nice warm color and it ended up being just silver. Definitely be sure that you're gonna be okay with that color in any angle. Sometimes colors don't look good in certain light conditions and sometimes colors look better on camera versus in real life. Also, it is so important to recognize that fun colors are great, but there's a slight chance that you might get annoyed with the color after a certain while. Especially if you get something like a hot pink iPhone, you may love it for the first couple months and then hate it desperately after those couple months. Which is why Apple always offers a white phone and a black phone because those are neutrals, those go with any type of case, and people don't get sick of those colors. So I would definitely consider if you buy lots of phone cases, you like different types of styles of phone cases, I would consider getting a white or black iPhone. Those colors will go best with any type of phone case, it will go best with any type of outfit. So I would definitely say that if you are someone who likes cases a lot, you should definitely consider getting a white or black iPhone. If you do want to have a fun color, definitely get a fun color iPhone because fun color iPhones are fun. All right, y'all, that was a lot of information and we are done with today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, be sure to hit that button down below and subscribe and click the notification bell to get notifications on whenever I upload a video next. You can also follow me in all the social medias. Links are gonna be down in the description down below and also right here. Thank you guys so much for being here with me and being able to discuss iPhone 16 and 16 rumors. If you should upgrade or not, I am definitely very excited to pre-order my iPhone this Friday and I'm very excited to do the unboxing next week. Let's hope that I actually get the iPhone on time and I get a day of because if I don't, there's going to be problems, Apple. There's going to be problems. I'm not going to be very happy. Let's just all be zen going into iPhone season because guys, it is iPhone season. I am super excited. So thanks again for watching, guys. You guys all have a great day. Bye.